Are you getting ready to take the Praxis Core Mathematics exam? That's test code 5733, which measures academic skills in mathematics, including the subtopic of number and quantity, which we'll cover today. Hi, my name is Morgan, and I am a Praxis Coach with Study.com, and I've also been teaching math for over eight years. Today, I'm here to help you out with some examples like you'll be seeing on the exam. Now I wanna mention that you'll have access to an on-screen four-function calculator, which I highly recommend that you take advantage of. Let's get you feeling confident for test day. Ready? All right, let's look at this first question. Among the choices below, which operation of this algebraic expression would you evaluate first? So we need to think about our order of operations, which we could use the acronym PEMDAS to help us remember. So PEMDAS stands for parentheses, exponents, multiplication and division from left to right, and then addition and subtraction from left to right. So we need to make sure that if there's any parentheses, we start with that first, which there is. But within that parentheses, there's a lot going on. So we're gonna start the order back over. So parentheses, there's no more like parentheses inside of parentheses. So the next thing that we would target are the exponents, which we do have an exponent right here. So we would evaluate that nine cubed first before we do anything else. So the correct answer would be nine cubed. All right, this question says a particular classroom contains 16 boys and 20 girls. What is the ratio of boys to girls? So we wanna make sure we pay close attention to this order. It's boys to girls. So in our ratio, we're gonna expect it to be boys to girls like that. Luckily, this is written in the same way, boys to girls. So 16 boys to 20 girls. Now you'll see that that appears here, but in order to get the correct ratio, we wanna reduce it as much as possible. So I wanna think about if there's anything that can go both into 16 and 20, kind of like reducing fractions. We can almost think of this as 16 over 20 because ratios and fractions are really pretty much the same thing. So for example, I know that four goes both into 16 and 20. So I can divide both of these by four, producing the reduced ratio four boys to five girls or four to five, which is our correct answer right here. All right, this question says, which of the following represents 43% of 2,864? So in order to be able to do this, we need to take this percentage that it gives us and convert it into a decimal so that we can do the math with it. Because what this is really saying is it is 43 out of 100. That's what per cent means. Like century means 100 years, per cent means out of 100. So we can divide that on our calculator if needed. Or you re may remember that to convert a decimal or a percent into a decimal, you just simply take the number and move the decimal back two places. So either way, we will get the decimal 0.43 which then we are going to take that decimal percentage, 0 0.43, and we are going to multiply by 2,864. Definitely use that calculator, but when we go ahead and multiply that out, we're going to get 1,231.52, which we see is our correct answer right here. All right, this question says, Tom is planning to paint his living room and he needs to calculate the total area of the walls to determine how much paint to buy. The living room has two walls, each measuring 12 feet in length and 10 feet in height. What is the total area of the walls that Tom needs to paint? So here we're dealing with essentially two rectangles. Do my best to show this. And if you remember, the area for a rectangle is the length times the width. And so it is 12 feet in length and 10 feet in height. And so we are going to have to use this formula and those dimensions. Now, because these two walls are identical, it's gonna be easier for us to do the area is two times that length and width. If they were different dimensions, then we would just have to do the two separately and then add them together. So in this case, that's gonna be two times 12 
times 10. And 12 times 10 is 120. And then we are doubling that for the two walls. So we're going to get 240 square feet as our answer, which is right here. I hope this was helpful and you're feeling a little bit more confident for your test. If it was, be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more helpful content. If you're looking for even more ways to study, head over to study.com. As a member, you'll get access to short targeted video lessons, extra study materials, and hundreds of practice questions like the ones we just went over. Study well, and good luck on your test!